Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Before this video starts, I just wanted to say a huge thank you for all of the support on my recent video where I opened my A-level results. It seriously means so much to me and it makes me so happy. So yeah, I just wanted to say thank you for that. And with that being said, in today's video, I'm going to be doing the back to school supplies haul. I promised that I would film this video at the end of my back to school supplies shopping video. So yeah, here is the promised video. Just for a bit of context, in September, I'm going to be going to Southampton University to study linguistics and Spanish and so I've done some shopping for things that I might need. Definitely gone overboard. Stationery makes me happy. What can I say? I bought a lot of stuff. In this video I'm also going to be doing sort of what's in my backpack kind of video because I feel like they just kind of go together quite well. Oh and also everything I mentioned that I can link I will leave the links down below. So now that I've rambled for a good few minutes I'm going to just get straight into this video. So I feel like it makes sense to start with my backpack. So the backpack that I chose to buy this year is the Herschel Classic classic backpack in the colour, mm, is it like ash rose or something? Something like that. I got this actually off ASOS because the Herschel website doesn't have it anymore I don't think. They're just always out of stock of everything on there for some weird reason. But the reason I chose to get this backpack is because I have the Herschel classic backpack in like a blue colour and the extra large size and that lasted me like two or three years and I absolutely loved it. So I thought it was a good idea for me to get another one from the same brand because I know it's good quality and they're long lasting. But this one actually ended up being a smaller size than the one that I used to have but I mean I think it will still be fine and I can always use my old backpack if I need more space. So the next things I'm going to go through are my journals. I've definitely gone OTT with the journals this year but I think it's okay and I have a purpose for all of them so I'm just trying to justify it. Okay I think I'll show you this one first. This is an academic diary that goes from August 2020 to August 2021. I got this from W. H. Smith and it is a day to page diary so it just means that I have like a whole page to write anything in that I need and it gives me lots of space. So my plan for this diary is to sort of take this to lectures and write down any work that I'm given that I have to do in this. So it's kind of like my homework diary. I just thought this was really pretty simple and it was like half price or something. I got a pretty good deal on this one. So happy with that. The next thing I have here is so pretty. It's this journal. This is a like fabric journal. This is from a small independent business called The Ink Pot. And I just think this journal is so pretty. You can personalize them. So I chose to have this color with this like flower printed on the front in gold foil. You can also get your initials on it. I really like that this is like dotted pages. So this is basically going to be my new bullet journal when I start at university in September because I think it's nice to start a fresh bullet journal for a fresh year. And then my final journal is this one. This one is from Papier, which I actually think I can give you guys a link if you want to get £10 off. I will leave a link down below and you can get £10 off and I think I might get money off too, but I actually don't know. But yeah, I will link that down below if you want to get some money off. Yeah, this journal is so pretty. Again, this one is personalised. So I just put my name on the top in like purple font to match the flowers and then I wrote my thoughts because this is going to be like my personal journal so this is going to be where I can just vent and say anything I want to and I'm really excited to have this because I've never had a journal that's specifically for just that. I've written my thoughts down in like a bullet journal and stuff like that before but I've read that it's really important to try and keep those two separate like your work brain and your kind of personal brain and personal thoughts so yeah that is why I have gone so OTT and bought three different journals. So when I was in sixth form I had three different folders and one daily folder so one folder for each subject and then one folder that I would bring to school with me but I mean I don't really know what I'm going to need for university in terms of folders and everything so for now I've just bought one this one is from W. H. Smith I love their folders I always use them and they're really really affordable so I recommend them and this one's really pretty but I'm honestly not really sure what I'm going to use it for yet but I'm sure I'll find something for it okay sorry I'm going to sit like this so I'm higher up in the shot so sorry for like moving if that annoys you I don't know so the next few things I have here are these little exercise books I got these in in three different colors and I also got one in like an A5 size as well. These were really really affordable. This was 79p and these were 80p. I got them from the range and they kind of look like I'm back in primary school but as I said when I was in sixth form I used folders for my subjects and then in lessons I was taking notes on file paper and putting that into my folder but I found that my notes weren't as neat because I wasn't writing them into a book which I would like take pride in trying to make really nice so I just found that my notes got a bit less pretty and harder to read and so I was less likely to go back and read them in the future when I was revising and so I thought that if I got exercise books then I would be more likely to keep my notes neat and nice and it's 
quite nice that they're all in one place rather than being in a folder. I don't know, I just think it's easier as well. Like I don't have to constantly move stuff into a folder, which can get annoying sometimes. So I'm gonna try this method out and if it doesn't work for me, then I will just move back into using a folder for each subject. But for now, I'm going to try this. And despite what I just said, I have also bought some refill pads, narrow ruled, of course. I don't write with anything else. It makes my writing so much neater. These were on three for five pounds from DeRate Smiths, but I usually get my paper from Wilco, except they've recently started doing the binding at the top and not at the side. And I just don't like that as much for some reason. So I decided to get it from DeRate Smiths instead. And they're really like good thick packs of paper. So that's really good. Another thing, it's quite a boring thing. I just got this pack of A4 plastic wallets from Wilco because I don't think you can ever have enough of them. They're just useful to have for when you need to file something away, something for school or like bank statements even. So yeah, I just got some of these because I've never had like a full pack of them. I've always just stolen them from my mum. Next is something I am way too excited about. You would have seen in my back to school supplies shopping video that when I saw these, I was very overexcited, but it's just some zebra mild liners. I've been wanting to get some mild liners for ages. And when I found them, I was like, okay, I have to have them even though they were very overpriced but yeah i'm really happy to finally have these now next i just got a simple pack of black byros these are zebra ones and they were half price in wilco so i thought they'd be good quality ones to use i always write with blue pen but these are sort of pens that i can lend to people and i can use these when i do want to use black pen and then i also bought these black pens these are the pilot g2 pens in like the 0.3 thickness i believe i could only find these on amazon and actually the reason i wanted these was because i saw best dressed mention them in her journaling video and I always feel like her writing looks so neat in her journals and I feel like it's because of these pens. So I bought them and now I'm gonna use these literally only in my journal and I'm very excited about it, not gonna lie. The next thing that I got is just a 30 centimeter ruler. This is just a clear one from Sainsbury's. This was also really inexpensive and it's just gonna be really useful. I don't have a 30 centimeter ruler, I don't think, and I already have a 15 centimeter one, which will be good in my pencil case. Next is something kind of exciting. I have these three washi tapes. I also bought these off of the ink pot where I got my bullet journal and they are just really pretty. I also bought these two Food Nozuki, I think is the brand brush pens. One's like a hard one and one's a soft one. And I thought these would also just be good for brush lettering in my bullet journal. And then I also decided to pick up these Sigma Micron pens in the thicknesses 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. I currently have some pens for bullet journaling, which I bought from the works, I think. And they're really good, but they're running out. So I thought I would pick these up, which I also bought from the ink pot. This is from the Ray this is just a silver pen. Uh, I thought this would be good for bullet journaling. I bought this one because my sister has it and she said it's a good one. Then from B&M Bargains, I bought this set of a rubber and a sharpener. These are by Stateler, so I know they're good quality. And from the range, I got this pack of red pens. I feel like you can never have enough red pens. I use them so much and my current one is running out, so I thought I should stock up. The only thing about these, I looked back at the receipt and I think these were $2.99. Like I could definitely have got these cheaper somewhere else, but you know what? I've got them now, so. Next, I have this cute little pouch. I think this is actually meant to be like a pencil case but i'm gonna use it in my backpack to like put essentials in like paracetamol and stuff like that stuff you need all the time this was from wilco and i just thought it was really cute from wilco as well i bought some more tipex and this was really cheap in wilco i think it was like a pound and then from sainsbury's i got this pack of sticky notes these are really good as well because they're on this thing that's got hole punch holes in it and you can put it in a folder if you want to and i like that there are so many different sizes of the sticky notes i also got this glue stick from wilco this one's actually recyclable it says i think it's like recyclable pack so that's really good. I got some sellotape from The Range. This was really cheap, like £1.50 for all these rolls. And then for university, I want to have like a new stapler, sellotape dispenser and that kind of stuff on my desk so that like when I come home for holidays and I still have to work, I don't have to bring my entire desk with me. I have everything at home still and I have everything at uni. I bought a stapler from B&M Bargains. This is just a nice simple white stapler. I bought a white sellotape dispenser from B&M Bargains as well, which also comes with some more sellotape. And then I also bought a hole punch from Wilco. From the range as well, I bought a box of push pins. These will be really useful because pretty much every university bedroom has a pin board. So I thought I would need some pins if I wanted to use the pin board. I think these were like 150 or something. Then from the range, I bought some jumbo paper clips. I have been trying to find big paper clips for ages. Ever since GCSEs through to A levels, whenever I make packs of flashcards, I always put them together with giant paper clips. And I had run out and I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do at university? And I've been looking for more paper clips for absolutely ages and just never found them but i found some more 
more and so I'm so happy to have found these. The next thing is definitely not stationary. It's actually just like makeup cosmetics holder thing that I got from TK Maxx. Well, my mum actually thought of this idea for me, but her idea for this was that it could be a good pen holder for my desk. I think this was literally 99p. 99p? No, it was like 9.99. Um, yeah, so this was like 9.99 from TK Maxx and I just thought it was worth having. The next thing is definitely not stationary at all, but it's a little umbrella. I picked this up because I knew it'd be really helpful to just have this in my rucksack. But if it suddenly starts raining when I'm in a lecture and then I have to walk home in the rain, I got this one from Boots. It was more money than I ever thought I would spend on an umbrella, but I couldn't resist because it was just so cute. I love the lemons on it because yellow is my favorite color. So I caved and I bought it. And I actually think that is everything. Yeah, that is everything I bought because I didn't really need to buy everything. I already have a lot of stationery and stuff that I can just continue using, like highlighters and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead now and just put everything into my rucksack and then I will come back in a few minutes and show you what is in my backpack. So I've just filled my rucksack up with everything that I think I might need in it next year. I mean, obviously I've never been to university, so I don't know specifically everything that I'm gonna need, but these are just the things that, I mean, I usually need at school, so I'll probably need at uni and a few extra things that are like because of uni. And yeah i guess i will just show you everything that's in here obviously once i get to know like what sort of things i need for lectures and things then what's in here might change but this is what i'm going with at the moment anyway i guess i'll start with this front small pocket in here i only have a few things but i have portable charger because i feel like this will come in very handy when i'm at university i have my airpods these are the airpods pro if you're wondering 100 recommend i found these so useful when i was in year 13 because i was in study rooms and when everyone was talking i could put these in and the noise cancellation was the best thing because everyone talks in study rooms and it's really annoying and it just meant I could actually focus on my work and not get distracted. The next thing I have is this little reusable straw. It comes from this little pot which is really cute and then it just pops out like so and this just means that if I go out for a coffee or something I can use a reusable straw rather than using a plastic one because save the turtles. And then the final thing I have in this little pocket is this thing. This little pouch here is sort of like a coin purse. I actually bought this at a little market in Madrid and I just thought it was so pretty. It's my favorite colors. I used this sort of like fob thing when I was at school to keep my house key on it and my locker key. And I just put my school lunch card in here and like any money I might need for something. But obviously when I'm at uni, I'll probably have like student ID card, room key, stuff like that. And then if I needed to bring like my debit card or something to uni, then I could put it in here rather than bring my whole purse. I mean, I probably won't because I have Apple Pay. And I know we're not really meant to use cash next year at university. So this will probably just have those few things in here. Okay, so moving on to the big pocket. When I was putting everything into this bag, I definitely found that the extra space that you get from the extra large size in the Herschel backpack does make a huge difference. I'm definitely gonna miss having the bigger backpack, but you know, we've got this one and it's fine. I don't even know how to show you, but like, this is what it looks like inside. At the back of my bag, I have my laptop. This is something I definitely didn't bring to sixth form. I know a lot of people did. I never found that I needed to bring my laptop to sixth form. I think I probably will need to once I'm at university. So this is just a little purple case. Uh, what brand is it? It's by brand Incase. And then inside I have my Apple MacBook Pro. I think this is the 13 inch 2016 one in silver. And it's the one with like the touch bar. I love this laptop so much. I've had this for a few years now. I'm really happy that I have this laptop for university. I feel really lucky. So the next thing I have in here also at the back is this little plastic yellow folder. And then in here, I just have a pad of the paper that I showed you earlier and also one of those little exercise books. I'm not really sure if this is what I'll definitely be keeping in there next year, but this is just what I'm thinking I might put in there. When I was in year 13, this was something that I really liked to do because it meant that I could keep my pad of paper neat and not like scruffy at the ends, but also it meant if I got random sheets in class that hadn't been hole punched, then I could put them in here and then hole punch them later and put them into my folder. So it's just convenient, I think. The next thing I have in here is just my planner that I showed you earlier, the academic planner or my homework diary. And yeah, I'll just need to carry this around with me at uni in case I get given work or anything because otherwise I will definitely forget about it and it won't get done. The next thing I have in here is my pencil case. This is the pencil case that I started using part way through last year because my other one broke and I think this one's really nice. It's also huge so like there is so much space. I actually haven't put anything different in here. This is just everything that I had in here for school. At the moment I have my calculator which I won't be needing at university I don't think because I'm not doing anything maths or science related anymore. I just have like pens, pencils, highlighters, ruler, rubber, scissors, everything pretty much. I just like having enough space that I feel 
feel like I can bring everything that I could ever need. But I mean, this is pretty weighty. <laughs> I might have to rethink everything that's in here before I go to uni. Earlier, I said how I like writing in blue pen. So I just thought I would show you guys my favorite blue pens to write in. It's just these big round stick pens. You can get these in black as well. I have both. But I just find that these write really nicely and the writing's really neat in them. I know a lot of people hate writing in blue pen and it's kind of controversial, but I much prefer it. I feel like my notes look so much neater when I write in blue and it's just prettier to look at. I don't know. It's just my opinion. But yeah, I always write in black in like my journal. So the next thing I have in here is at the back and this is just the pouch that I showed you earlier from Wilco. In here I just kind of put like essential things. So I have tissues, sip solve, some paracetamol, and gel because 2020 we will be needing this and also a face mask again 2020 we will be needing this. I don't know if you've seen Hannah E. Moats, I think that's her channel name, I'm not sure. Um, her video where she made face masks and a cute little matching pouch for her face masks. Well I really want to do that. I've already made a face mask for my mum and I want to make her a matching little pouch for it and I want to make a few for me for university because I just feel like it's a lot cleaner to be able to put it in a little pouch and then it not be making other things dirty or be getting dirty at the bottom of my bag so my goal for the next few weeks is to make face masks for me to take to university but for now I just have this little black one in here next thing is my water bottle this is a insulated water bottle from Wilco they're really cheap they're like five pounds each and they work so well I also have a Chili's bottle which I absolutely love but that one's in the bigger size. These are much easier to bring to university because they're smaller and much less heavy. I also have this in like a rose gold colour as well and that one's really nice. So yeah, I really recommend these bottles. Then I have my glasses case because I do actually wear glasses. Right now I'm wearing contact lenses but I do wear glasses if you didn't know already. These are my glasses that I have at the moment but I have just ordered some new ones. I somehow managed to make these glasses last five years. I don't know how but that's basically just because my sight has barely changed since I got these and I've managed to keep good care of my glasses. So by the time I actually go to university these will not be the glasses that i'll be bringing with me but just for show purposes my glasses then i have the really cute umbrella that i showed you earlier again this will just be really useful i also really like how small this one is like i've never seen an umbrella that folds up this small then the final thing i have in here actually it seems like i haven't actually got that much in there but when it was full it was really really heavy it's just this urban outfitters bag it looks like this i'm pretty sure every teenager has one of these but i love this because urban outfitters actually give them to you free when you buy something from the shop i just have this in bag so that if i buy something when I'm out I can use this and not have to buy a plastic bag so yeah I think that is everything in my backpack and so that brings us to the end of the video I really hope you have enjoyed this video if you did I would love for you to subscribe to my channel it would genuinely mean so much to me and also leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up again it would make me so happy and if you have any video requests be sure to leave them down below I will do my best to do the videos that you want to see that's obviously what I want to do I want to make you guys happy I cannot wait to bring you guys along with my university experience every step of the way and I just think it's going to be a really exciting few months so yeah I think that's pretty much everything and I will see you in my next video bye